So this has been a very much a voyage of discovery through uh, part of Australia's marine estate which we didn't know a lot about. So for the last 30 days we've been out here exploring the deep Great Barrier Reef and the Coral Sea. The vision, the animals, plants, the sediments, the geology, all of that has been revealed now. Which is just amazing when you think about, you know, that there's no light in most of the environments that we visited but we've got this amazing record of what's there now. Without a doubt. Yeah, this is the deepest ROV dives that have ever been done on the Great Barrier Reef. We now know the visual context, as well as all the data, the depth, the location, the temperature, the salinity of the water, all of that is what we've been able to get precisely for each sample that we've collected with ROV Sebastian. That's just way above and beyond what other methods can give us. What it tells us is that the deep houses high biodiversity specifically which species live in these habitats and how far do their ranges extend was a question that we were able to answer by collecting the different corals and sponges on this expedition. For me, uh, some of the fascinating part of this voyage has been looking at the planktonic story. Alright, so what we've just done is inserted GoPros into Dr. Dougal Lindsay's stereo GoPro housing. Uh, he's collecting a lot of uh, midwater column data on a lot of the gelatinous life. He couldn't make it because of COVID, but you're welcome, Dougal, they're all on there and uh, we'll see what we get. So the information and data and samples we've collected will now be disseminated through our networks of collaborators. Data is going to be openly available. It's going to fuel a hell of a lot of new research uh, looking at the deeper environment. This work matters because if we don't know it's there, we can't manage it. The RV Falcor is giving us the tools to better manage the Great Barrier Reef. The reason why we're collecting biology on this expedition, and the reason why it's so important to have physical records of all the corals and sponges that live in this area, is because biodiversity information underpins every conservation decision that we make. So it's really reaching back into time through the mapping and the sampling that we've done to really start to unravel in a bit more detail. The reason these reefs are here and how they've responded to climate change over the long geological cycles. And that gives us really important baseline information for understanding how these systems might behave into the future. Yeah, it's been a real joy to actually be on board the Falcor. We're working really, really hard, but we're having a lot of fun. And for me, that's, that's the memory that you'll take home and, and remember long after the voyage is finished.